All right, hi. Oh, it's too bright without my sunglasses. Um, so <laughs> I'm Mr. Valena, and uh, this is my Honda Civic Hybrid, which is a very heavy car because of all the batteries, but that's another detail. Anyway, uh, I might the car might be too big and the parking lot might be too small, uh, but we're gonna try to see if I can do a demo of circular motion by me pushing on the car and I think I'll explain it later a little bit, but I'm just going to try and I'm going to put my car in drive with no driver so the car will go automatically forward and then I'll push on the car to see if I can make it go in a circle. I borrowed a, another car that's much smaller than mine. It's not a hybrid. Well, it's not much smaller than mine. It's a little smaller, but it's got way less weight because it's not a hybrid. All right, so uh, I don't know what take this is anymore, but uh, what we're going to try now, as you can see, uh, we've tied this to the to the one side of the car. I'm going to pull perpendicular to the motion of the car. So if you can see, the car is going to go this way forward. I'm pulling it at 90 degrees, and that's my brother Robin over there pushing also 90 degrees to the motion. So he and I are working both together to try to push perpendicular, tangent to the circle. No, that's not tangent. Perpendicular to the tangent of the circle. So, uh, yeah, nobody's in the car. Uh, so uh, my brother's just going to throw it into drive and then uh, we're going to go from there. Yep, give her. Giddy up. again and uh, it's, it kind of worked last time but we're gonna see if we can get a full circle there are a couple challenges one of them is that the car goes too fast even just in drive with nobody pushing the gas so uh, we're gonna try it with the handbrake on one click notice that even with the handbrake on one click the car doesn't go at all so we're gonna try to put it in drive now with the handbrake on one click and get the car pushed to get it started and see if that works and uh, the other challenge is that some people are too as well and so circle around them and then and I think they're still in the car so that might freak them out but we'll see what happens. Okay, okay, you're ready. Notice how I and my brother are both I'm pulling he's pushing but both towards the center of the circle. showing that two forces both towards the center of the circle can make something that would normally go in a straight line go in a circle. Oh, high five. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> oh, my God. It's like going in circles. All right, that's it. That shows Ooh. it. That's 300. Uh.
and 60 degrees. Let's get the camera to pan all the way around the parking lot. Faster, all the way around. That's what we did. Right back to the beginning. That's a pretty tight circle. And uh, there you have it, proof. It's forced towards the center of the circle. You can make an object that normally goes straight go in a circle. And there it goes. A little faster than I thought. Okay. <laughs> and I'm gonna... Oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's too hot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> My car's too big. <laughs> Even if it was going slower. <laughs> oh, scratching my car. Oh, it's too fast. Let's go. <laughs> I think we're on a hill going down. Okay. I think the, I think the, I don't know. I don't know if I'm getting any Whoa, <laughs> slippery. I think we're first. Look at that, I can almost stop a car. <laughs> Okay, cut.